Hello, I am Atu Jimmy and you are watching on Real TV Prime at 9, now news and details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday met German Chancellor Olaf Scholz here and the two leaders are expected to exchange views on strategic, regional and global developments. Prime Minister Modi was accorded the Guard of Honor at the forecourt of the Federal Chancellery in Berlin upon his arrival for talks with Chancellor Scholz. Modi and Olaf will co-chair the six India-Germany intergovernmental consultations. From Berlin, Modi will travel to Copenhagen on May 3, where he will have a bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Fredriksen, during which the two leaders would review the progress in India's unique green strategic partnership with Denmark as well as other aspects of bilateral relations. He also he will also participate in the India-Denmark Business Roundtable as well as interact with the Indian community in Denmark. Apart from the bilateral engagements with Denmark, Modi will also take part in the second India-Nordic Summit along with Prime Ministers of Denmark, Iceland, Finland, Sweden and Norway where they will take stock of cooperation since the first India-Nordic Summit in 2018. On May 4, Modi, during a brief stopover in Paris, will hold talks with French President Emmanuel Macron, who was re-elected as French President. Government sources have said that in his first visit abroad this year, Prime Minister Modi will have their trips to as many countries where he will be spending around 65 hours. Former Petroleum Secretary Tarun Kapoor has been appointed as an advisor to Prime Minister Narendra Modi according to a government order issued on Monday. Kapoor, a 1987 batch IAS officer of the Himachal Pradesh Kata, superannuated as the Secretary of the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas on November 30, 2021. The personal ministry order stated that the appointments committee of the cabinet has approved appointment of Kapoor as an advisor to the prime minister in the prime minister's office in the rank and scale of secretary to government of India initially for a period of two years from the date of joining. Meanwhile, senior bureaucrats Hari Ranjan Rao and Atish Chandra have been appointed as additional secretaries in the prime minister's office. Rao is a 1994 batch IAS officer of the Madhya Pradesh Kata and is is currently an administrator at Universal Services Obligation Fund in the Department of Telecommunication. Chandra Rao's batchmate from Bihar Kato is currently Chairman and Managing Director, Food Corporation of India, Department of Food and Public Distribution. No one can be forced to take the vaccine, the Supreme Court said today in a landmark decision on India's COVID vaccine policy. However, the certain limitations on individuals' rights could be imposed in the interest of community health. The court also directed the central government to publish reports on the adverse effects of vaccination. 
The court asserted that bearing COVID-appropriate behavior, it suggests no curbs on unvaccinated individuals in the access to public places, services and resources if cases are low. Restrictions imposed on individuals through vaccine mandates cannot be called to be proportionate, the court said, a reference to many states making it essential for people to get the COVID shot to access public places. Till infection numbers are low, we suggest that no restriction is imposed on individuals on access to public places, services and resources. Recall the same if already done, the Supreme Court ordered. Supreme Court Justices Ellen Rao and B.R. Gavi added that their directives did not extend to COVID-appropriate behavior but was limited to vaccines in the rapidly evolving situation. In a media briefing at the Congress headquarters in New Delhi, Gujarat MLA Jignesh Mivani said his arrest by the Assam police over a purported tweet against Prime Minister Narendra Modi showed the Partha Janata Party's intentions and priority amid other serious issues. He demanded the centre takes back cases filed against the members of the minority community in Badgam and during the UNA movement. He threatened to go on a Gujarat bond on June 1st if demands are not fulfilled by Gujarat chapter of Indian National. यही डिमांड है कि जो ड्रग्स पकड़ा जा रहा है ना मैं गुजरात की युवा पीढ़ी को बर्बाद नहीं होने देंगे मैं इंडिविजुअली और बतौर कांग्रेस पार्टी सड़क पे उतरेंगे ऊना के आंदोलन के वक्त में मेरे केस वापस लेने की बात नहीं कर रहा हूं ऊना के आंदोलन के वक्त जो मुकदमे दर्ज हुए मेरे विधानसभा क्षेत्र वड़गाम में माइनॉरिटी समुदाय के साथियों को प्रोटेस्ट करने पर जो जेल में डाला वो सारे केस आप वापस लीजिए ये मेरी डिमांड है डिमांड है कि बाईस एग्जाम का पेपर लीक हुआ उसमें एसआईटी का घटन हो उसकी जांच हो यदि ये नहीं होगा तो एक जून पे सड़क पे उतरेंगे मोदी साहब और गुजरात की भाजपा सरकार अपना डंडा रेडी करे हम अपना सीना रेडी करके बैठे मुनलुमो किकोन नेशनल स्पोक्स पर्सन पीजेपी एंड एडवाइजर आईटी एंड कम्युनिकेशन साइंस and technology, new and renewable energy integrated Edipan Memorial Tower at Wopongtuket village some 20 kilometers away from Mukokchung town. The advisor was accompanied by Rajya Sabha MP S. Pangyong Konyak and other dignitaries. Kikon expressed that the tower depicts love, transcends over chaos, differences and also simplifies the Naga identity. He further added that the exemplary folklore of a simple love story has now amplified into a legendary love story. Now this is a very significant event in our uh, village, so you have to come. I readily agree, because for me it is an honor. I am so privileged. It is, um, in, in fact, uh, today Amba was telling me that it is time now. And this is also a brilliant uh, thought. He was telling me in the morning over the phone, that it is time now for us to look outwards. Let us not just look within our own surroundings, our own corner, our own, you know, uh, people. Let us reach out. And this is an outreach because the story of Itiben may be, may be your story, maybe the story of your village. But now it has become the folklore of not just the our community, but the entire Nagas. It is a beautiful story. This story is told everywhere. And I think this story is relevant even today. Even today. Because like I said, the foundation of this story is that it was about a tale of love. And today, if suppose right from your village, right from uh, uh, this district to the entire Nagaland state, if we were to think of the future of our people, I think it is because we love ourselves less. We love each other less. That this unity and this discord exists in our society. If we are to envision a future for Naga society, the message of Itiben 
should be taken to every nook and corner of the Naga people and it should drive our policy towards the future of Nagaland. Yeah, example guard of the net Konya, Nikubu, Kutza Outer, Kutza Outer. The Idaming Nang Roots, Ni Ibanu, the Aliba Ibang Nang Strength, Palahalia. It was a wrong Ibanu Jagi Tashi either. Put up Mamma no way in a lawyer, put up Nakijin is only never yet know, a jet that I'm Idam Jitum no Uluba Palahalia. That's why you put up being on culture. Being on subdi, being on as a put on a share and again, as looking on identity, it up the other world, put on as looking on identity is rooted, it up the as looking on strength, tashi, it up the year. That's why he as look alimatin sapalala, mukum palala or saha, she but needs on rooted alier, Ibajibo, Kijumayo, Marathas. The Edipan Memorial Tower was constructed in 1972 and with timely maintenance and renovation through the years kept the tower standing for more than four decades. However, in October 2020, the Mongsen Metam Changar Putu Menden unanimously decided to construct a new tower to replace the already existing tower. The construction started in April 2021 and is integrated today. The Edipan Memorial Tower stands tall once again, celebrating and immortalizing the unparalleled beauty of Etipan and it is hoped that the Shakespearean Juliet of the Ao community and her doomed romance with Gina would continue to strike chords with the world of today and tomorrow. Chief Minister Nipiro inaugurated Community Marketing Complex at Northeast Agri Expo, Fort Mile in Chumukedima. The inauguration of the complex is to provide employment opportunities to farmers and local entrepreneurs and also to promote organic products. The complex has 66 stalls and one cafe. About 150 young entrepreneurs will be given opportunities to sell their organic products. 75 years of India independence, Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, commemorate Kurikana at Dimapur. Nordisk Agri Expo TV at the uh, exhibition Jase. Ajadika Amrit Mausaf commemorate Krigna Union Minister of State for Donor and Cooperation B. L. Verma Bra at the Naturally Nagaland Krigna at the exhibition taxi to at the Ayana Taipra inaugurate Kudise to an Moandika Nisna at the Molapichi. You know, Naturally Nagaland exhibition. The 21 stalls Alak Alak Department, Agri Allied Department gun stalls. Kuligana Aji Zayase to Alop Age Pujo to be Chief Minister Nifi Rio Bra, you know, community marketing complex be inaugurate Kuridigana Aji Ajadika Amrit Mausaf to commemorate Kuigana, celebrate Kuyase. Northeast. Our land are so fertile, and we should take advantage of potential lives in agree and allied. And therefore, Nagaland team, which you had coined, monetizing every haughty and organic potential of Northeast through value chain development, is very appropriate for us. Like any other Northeast states, our land of fertile. And the Mother Earth sustain us. More than 70% of the people are farmers. So they engage in their Indian alike activities. And not only normal producing rice or other vegetables, we also are producing some. Uh, Exotic fruits like dragon, dragon fruits, kiwi, avocado, persimmon, as mentioned, your uh, pineapple, different spices, and citrus. So, for table purposes, we have more than enough. But we don't have enough quantity for commercial purposes. That's where we are facing 
probably a little bit. So everybody should become farmers. We should not wait only for white color job. The educated unemployed people. You should grab the opportunity opportunity. Langas, fortunately, there is no landless persons. And therefore, any land at any altitude, what is suitable to your land, you should identify and grow. The different altitudes. And today the department has a soil test in all the blocks. And therefore, if you want your soil condition, what can grow better? I think you can only contact. And the educated unemployed, led by the agri and allied graduate and diploma holders, so that you will be more aggressive and you should become progressive farmers. And everybody, farmers, they should uh, work so that we produce sufficiently so that buyers will come from outside. Today, fortunately, our tea has been sold at uh, very good grading. Our coffees are being exported to South Africa and also to Europe and uh, London. So there is huge demand. We have to produce. Otherwise, if we produce only small quantity, it will not be viable. In this, we need government of India, particularly on Prime Minister PM Divine Schemes. We need to build every horty link roads because our lands, terrains are not good. It's a distance. Are not, uh, see, this area is plain. The rest, 90% is hills. But all the areas are cultivable. Uh, and therefore, Educated persons, you should pursue and become progressive farmers. And those who cannot, the entrepreneurs, they should work, get trained, and do the marketing. As part of the Azadi Comrade Mots of Union Minister of State for Donor and Cooperation, BL Verma, also inaugurated Naturally Nagaland exhibition. भारत रत्न पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जिन्होंने नॉर्थ ईस्ट के डेवलपमेंट के बारे में सोचा और नॉर्थ ईस्ट के लिए अलग मंत्रालय बनाने का काम किया और उनके अधूरे सपने को 2014 में इस देश के माननीय प्रधानमंत्री मनी मोदी जी जिन्होंने अटल जी के सपने को साकार करने के लिए नॉर्थ ईस्ट के डेवलपमेंट के लिए इस प्रकार का विजन तैयार किया उसे इंप्लीमेंट किया तब मैं कह सकता हूं कि माननीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी इसको नॉर्थ ईस्ट या पूर्वोत्तर राज्य नहीं कहते हैं इसको देश का अष्टलक्ष्मी है और इसलिए हम सब अगर बासु को देखते होंगे चाहे वो किसी का प्रतिष्ठान हो व्यापारिक हो या आवास हो जिसका वास्तु अच्छा होता है वो समृद्ध और संपन्न होता है और वास्तु में जिसका नॉर्थ ईस्ट अच्छा होता है नॉर्थ ईस्ट जिसका मजबूत है वो निश्चित रूप से समृद्ध होगा संपन्न तो माननीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी ने इसको अष्टलक्ष्मी कहकर कि नॉर्थ ईस्ट हमारा मजबूत होगा तो ये अष्टलक्ष्मी के रूप में 
पूरे देश को समृद्ध और संपन्न बनाने का काम ये नॉर्थ ईस्ट करने वाले लेकिन सब प्रचार प्रसार कौन करें हम मिलकर के करेंगे और दूसरा हम एग्रीकल्चर हो हॉर्टिकल्चर हो या कॉपरेशन सहयोग से डॉलर के साथ साथ कॉपरेशन का भी मैं एमओएस हूं और मैं धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं माननीय प्रधानमंत्री को जिस तरह से अटल जी ने नॉर्थ ईस्ट डेवलपमेंट मंत्रालय बनाया उसी तरह से माननीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी ने कॉपरेशन के दृष्टि से इसकी अपार संभावनाओं को देखते हुए नया सहकारिता का मंत्रालय बनाने का काम किया तो हम और आप मिलकर के इस नागालैंड को कैसे आगे ले जा सकते हैं क्योंकि मुझे एग्रीकल्चर के विषय में बहुत ज्यादा मैं नहीं कहूंगा लेकिन मैं कह सकता हूं कि आज कनेक्टिविटी के नाम पर चाहे वो रोड कनेक्टिविटी हो रेल कनेक्टिविटी हो एयर कनेक्टिविटी हो डिजिटल कनेक्टिविटी हो पूरी तरह से नॉर्थ ईस्ट को जोड़ Speaking at the inauguration program, Minister of Agriculture and Cooperation, J. Kaitoi appealed to Union Minister of State for donor and cooperation to provide one-time grant fund or schemes to naughty states, especially Nagaland, to revive the failure of successive privilege in the state. State, you know that we are not a state. So timely grant of uh, 19, 10%, sometimes it delays on uh, time. A little bit. Because your guideline says in 21 days of the receiving sanction, I have to dispose of everything and to expedite in utilization. But certainly not resource that not only Nagaland but few states are facing this hurdles. So I would appeal the agriculture ministry officials and the minister donor and the cooperation to see that releases are made in two installments, not in three, four installments. We have only ways that the uh, NCDC loan has been granted to us through ICDP projects. Successive projects have failed us. That is particularly on the non-return of the loan. And we become offender, we become uh, defaulters. Now I would request the cooperation minister to see that I want to go back to the village level, rural people. Either one time grant or certain schemes should be uh, created for the notice. We have been trying to approach the government of India to see that these facilities are being extended to us. NITFI has parked agriculture money for about five, little five, more than five crores and above. I have written a deal letter to the government of India saying that parking this much of money with NITFI is not a friendly, farmer friendly. Therefore, this should be handed over to us, utilized for the need of the farmers. So I have been requesting ministry that this parking money of five, six crore should be handed over to the agriculture department and make us utilize for the benefit of the farmers on the urgent uh, manner. That's all we have for now. Keep watching on Bill TV.